Oh yeah. That's that's see like I said, we got a Vegas Lounge singer and now we got Elvis. Let's give it up for Jesse James Dupree as the Dupree's and Elvis. Are we ready to let these festivities begin today? Yes. All right. This Elvis suit is hot. Where's my good book? Where's my good book? Brother Johnny's got some good book. Thank you very much. I'll take that. We're getting ready here. I'd like to thank Christy Hemick for providing some music for us today. Sounding good, yes? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. How you doing, Mr. Steve-O? I got it. All right, then. I think they should be coming here momentarily. We're just going to... We're going to just be patient one more minute. We're so blessed that this rain blew out of here today. Got us some sunshine. Finally, three days of being here, we didn't see any sunshine at all. This is a sign that this is going to end up all okay. And it answers that question, what could possibly go wrong? Everything, but we're all survivors and we all we all stick together. We made it through. Raise, raise a, pl a round of applause for each and every one of you. Thank you so much for being part. <laughs> what a great show last night. It's, it's a lot of fun. This is all fun. This is what it's all about. Okay, here we're gonna just give us just one minute here. Uh, heard that an hour and a half ago. I'm doing this rangy, you guys know that, don't you? <laughs> the Elvis thing, yes. Yep, I guess we'll come back later when something's happening. Marcy's here with me. Christy, hear me if you will. If you will, start playing your song. Yeah, there we go. Do you want to be right? Get what you want, do you really want to fight with me? Trying to be right over how I feel, I feel. Telling you exactly what I need you. Always say you want me happy to see. I think you're right, you're right. But you made
Halfway decent crowd. See, everyone's got their cell phones out and their cameras. She's around there somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Angie Carlson coming down the aisle. What a beautiful bride. Ladies and gentlemen, a marriage is an institution. <laughs> a marriage is an institution, but a wedding is a celebration. And we are here to celebrate today the joining in hands and hearts. It's done with love. Look at this ice carving I did for you, Angie. You'll recognize me now. Is that better? There we go. A marriage, a marriage is an institution, but but a wedding is a celebration. And today, Michael Ballard and Angie have been been so kind to allow all of us, all of us here today, and at Throttle Fest KC, which was a, another another monumental task coming right out after a huge event up in Sturgis, South Dakota. Mike and Angie had, and I'm just going to share with you. Mike and Angie had plans to have a wedding in private, something small, intimate, and they were going to do it right after the rally. I threw them a major curve, a major curve by booking Throttle Fest. And as you can see, we always follow through trying to do everything that we say we're going to do. So we followed through with Throttle Fest. We made that happen. And then Michael Ballard insisted that he follow through with what he had promised Angie. He's always done what he said he's going to do. And so today he was determined. And as you see right here, he has Miss Beautiful Angie right here in front of him to become his bride today. Angie puts up with a lot. She puts up with a lot from, from, from Mike, and she puts up a lot from me. Uh, but we're family, and family, family, stay. we're all family here. And uh, Mike and Angie, unfortunately, unfortunately, logistically, they came from two different worlds. She comes from a place where they make very big O's up in North, South Dakota. And he comes from a place where they twang things out, eat salads, and dry off with towels. So, uh, but they've come together. That means that her family, mother and father, and her best friend Bree, they're all up in up in South Dakota. And Angie uh, and Mike's parents, they're down in Dyersburg, Tennessee. But again, Mike is a man of his word. He promised Angie right after the rally they would get married. They will celebrate with their families, private and proper. But today, again. A, a, a wedding is a celebration, and they, they consider each and every one of you family as well. So today, Michael and Angie will now become husband and wife in front of you right here today. So what I would like to do right now is I would like to, uh, I'd, I'd like to uh, shut my mouth for once, and I'd like to let them do the talking. Would you please face each other? And I got to say, it's it's an honor. It's an honor for Angie to uh, for Angie to allow me to be part of this ceremony because I love these guys, both of them. So it's a, it's with all sincerity that that I now hand the mic over to Michael Ballard, and I'd like for my my brother Michael to share with Angie from his heart his feelings for her. You just speak from the heart. That's what it's all about. But first, Mike's going to get it going. He's going to kick start. He's going to kick him if he's got him, and I know he's got him. So would you share share with Angie from your heart? Your feelings for her today, moving forward forever, taking her to be your wife. Absolutely. Baby, I, I love you with all my heart. I've never met anybody like you. I know I've run you through the ringer so many times, but you've always been right there, and you've always had my back at the end of the day. And I've never had a woman in my life to do that. I'm 48 years old. It has taken me that long to find the woman of my dreams, and you are it, I promise you. I will be with you until the day I die. I have There's just nobody on earth at all that could ever take the place that you've done with me in my life and i love you with all my heart and i'm so proud to be here today in kansas city with all our friends 
speaking from the heart. This is Miss Angela, and Lord knows she's never been short for words either, especially whenever I'm by, so no, speak from your heart. Angie, please share with Mike how you feel today and moving forward with the rest of your life. Your finger looks so gross. <laughs> Just as I have your back all the time, you have mine. And you know it's so hard to have all them dogs in our house all the time. <laughs> and uh, I don't think there's anyone else here that would do that for me. And they mean everything to me. Um, but I am mad that my hillbilly's not here. And so, of course, we'll have a second ceremony for the dogs. <laughs> and, I, and for Brianna, yes, and for Brianna, and the Font girls and the rest of the family that's not here. Um, I don't have anything else to say except for I love you so much, and I wish we could smooch now. <laughs> We'll get there in one moment. We'll get there in one moment. Now, I'm always up for learning, and I've learned something new, especially, I guess it's, it's predominantly a Midwestern tradition, but it's a Christian tradition, and, and I have heard of it, but I've never performed one of these before, so it's a first for me, and I love first, as you know. First time out of a cannon, first time off a bridge, first time all kinds of crazy stuff. Today is a first for me to utilize unity candles, but I love the concept of it. A unity candle... Signal. I'm sorry. Okay, I, I know. I got it. I got. I, I've done my googling. I got. It. I, I have. I got it. I've got it. She said, "I got you." Right. So, a unity candle. A unity candle. What it does, and the reason that Angie's pointing out that that her mother is going to light the candles is because the unity candle signify not just these two coming together, but it signifies two families coming together, two families becoming one. And Lord knows, with everything that goes on in the full throttle world, all of the families that it takes, every single bit of the family, immediate, secondary, third, and all, all the way throughout, everybody to make that thing happen. So family means so much to Michael and Angie. So right now I would like for Angie's mom to come up and light the unity candles to signify these two families coming together. So if you will, please. While she's lighting that again, while she's lighting that, did you did you see this ice carbon? Yeah. Did someone's got a lighter? There? there we go. Yeah. I did this ice carbon. Jeff from uh, from uh, Cool Creations, the uh, Cool Carvings. He let me come into his shop. He let me hold on to his special chainsaws and look at this. Is that not beautiful? I'm so proud of it. He, he did this side. I did the side where the lines are a little more crooked, but they were done with love. So. There we go. Are they lighting? Can somebody give me another lighter, please? We get, we get it. Right? Here we go. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. Thank you, Rocky. Okay, here we go. You're, 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 let's make sure it works there. Yeah. Oh, we'll get it. We'll get it. You know what we're going to do? We're gonna we're gonna get Mike. Come over here and go hold on to this one, if you will, please. Here we we'll get it. We we'll get it. You get this one. I'm, I'm just, I'm, here. here we go. Thank you. This one may work better. Angie, come over here and take this one, please. We're dealing with outside. The wind's getting it, but we're gonna do this. This is. Here we go, Michael. She's gonna get yours. Angie, go ahead and take this and let's keep the, keep your fire going, Mom. Okay, we're going to get through this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> together, Michael and Angie are lighting the unit. This is two families coming together. Help them out, Mom. Get in there. There we go. There you we go. It's beautiful. So we've lit the unity candle. We have signified two families coming together. And again, it takes a huge family to make this universe that, that we're that we're really. <laughs> We got it. You know, when I Googled it, it said, be careful if you're doing unity candles outside. See, Google's got it going on. All right. So we're now going to take place. We're going to take the rings. We're going to take the... And, hey, these are beautiful unity candles. You can take them and put them beside your bed and light them again tonight. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. So, so we have a ring. Michael, if you would, please take the ring. And place it on Angie's left hand. And repeat. Angie, I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love. 
Angie, I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Angie, please place your ring on Michael's lip. There we go. See? I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love. I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love. And with this ring, I thee wed. And with this ring, I thee wed. Friends and family, we've been we've been waiting and, and watching patiently. I, I have for, for many years. You could see it from the first time that Angie and uh, and Mike made a connection back back many years ago. And a little known story, I'll, I'll just share you with you for one second. Before they had ever even known each other's name, Mike was going through and he had someone that he was having to meet up with. He saw Angie. He stopped dead in his tracks. He reached over. He took her by the hand and turned around and he said, Hey, I'd like for you to meet my future wife. And then he says, what was your name, honey? <laughs> so it's funny how things work. It's a beautiful day. And as you can see, I love to have a great time and I love to have fun. And it, it, you got to have that balance in life. And I think that the two of these guys exemplify that balance because Lord knows there's lots of trials and tribulations. There's lots of adversities that have to be overcome. But we also see them have a lot of laughs. And at the end of the day, you, I know for a fact that I will testify, you don't get in between what is right here. You don't get in between it. It's thick as it can be. And, and right now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you, as it says right here, Michael and Angie Ballard. Yeah. You may kiss your beautiful bride. Yeah. It's on now, baby. Next comes the baby cares. There we go. There we go. Thank you guys so much for being part of this ceremony. I'd like for you to give us just one second. Stay where you are. I'd like for the bride and the groom to be able to exit back through, back through the highway here. Hang tight. Let us get changed. Meet us in the tent. It's a day of celebration. Everybody, be, 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 be very patient with us. We want to shake everybody's hand. We've got Kate coming in back there, and we want everybody to be cool because once they once they get ready and regroup their stuff for a second, we're going to have a cake carving back here. I might even have to bring my chainsaw out. It's such a big cake. So stick around, please. Enjoying us, enjoying us back here in the full throttle tent, and we'll be right. One second, is the bride of Mr. and Mrs. Ballard, Michael and Angie Ballard, right here. And stick around because we've got we've got more surprises for the day. I promise you, it's a good day. It's a good day. Stick around. together his husband and wife. <laughs> Take it easy on her, Mike. She has been so forgiving. So. <laughs> <laughs> 